The room is secure. You're safe now. Thank you, God. Yo, Batman! Thanks for the help! What happened to this prisoner? He's not a prisoner. He's a doctor. Was he attacked? No. It's terrible, really. He transferred here, but I think it was too much for him. We didn't realize he was losing it. And he... we should have noticed. Noticed what? He was stealing supplies. Anesthetics, mostly. He used them when he... when he cut his own face off. I found him. He was sitting in the corner, laughing. His face was missing. I wrapped him up and sedated him. Who knows what's in that case he's holding on to? We couldn't pry it loose. Tiger Command, this is Air Tiger 7. We are approaching the designated location. The alleyway is empty. Thermal scans show no activity. Hold on. There's a body. It appears to be naked. Heat traces. Not been dead long. Oh, jeez. It looks like someone's cut off his face. Most unusual. Continue with your patrol, Captain. None of the inmates match this ammo. I presume it to be merely a territorial dispute. A message, perhaps. Affirmative. I should scan the crime scene to determine the cause of death. The victim's face has been removed and the head wrapped in bandages. There have been three murders in Gotham over the last month with the same M.O. The press have nicknamed the killer the Identity Thief. If he's now in Arkham City, I need to track him down and stop him. The attack left the victim bleeding profusely. The murderer is likely to have trace elements of the blood on them without realizing. I'll filter the scanner to track the victim's blood particles. That should lead me to the last person to see the victim alive, maybe even the killer himself. Why did you kill him? It wasn't me. I'm not a killer. I'm a plumber, for God's sake. You've got to believe me. I don't have to believe anything. Tell me what you saw. There was this guy. He dropped the body there. He was weird looking. You won't believe me, but, well, he looked like Bruce Wayne. What? I know. Someone must have got to him. He was covered in cuts and bruises, but I'm sure it was him. The poor guy must have had a target the size of Gotham City painted on him. Looked like he'd been attacked by pretty much everyone in Arkham. The M.O. is the same as for the previous victim. First, the killer paralyzes the vocal cords and then removes the face before bandaging up the head. It's definitely him, and it looks like he's stepping up his attacks. A crime with this level of precision requires weeks of premeditation. These aren't just random attacks. Oracle, I've reconstructed a clean set of fingerprints, but there's no match to anything in the Gotham criminal databases. I'm uploading the prints to you now. 
Check these against every record in the country. Batman, I found a match for the print, but there must be a mistake. This can't be correct. Who do the prints belong to? You. These are Bruce Wayne's fingerprints. How is that possible? I have no idea. Bruce, I don't know how to say this, but... What's wrong, Barbara? I've been thinking about the identity theft case. Don't get angry. But how can you actually be sure that it wasn't you who killed those people? I mean, they were your fingerprints at the scene. What did you say? Not intentionally, but clearly you're not well. That place is full of maniacs who could take advantage of a situation like that. Think about it. What if Crane got to you again? You know Strange's reputation. Maybe he planted the idea back when you met him. I don't like it, but... It wasn't me. I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. I just, well, you know... Another victim. Sooner or later, the killer will slip up. Let's hope it's this time. As with the others, the victim's face was removed pre-mortem with surgical precision. The care taken suggests the killer is more concerned with the parts he's taking than what he leaves behind. Someone has taken a lot of care to cover their tracks. They used bleach to destroy any forensic evidence at the crime scene. Sometimes the lack of evidence is all you need. I'll filter for particles of the bleach and see who was so determined to cover their tracks. killed that man and dumped his body back there. Why did you take his face? It wasn't me. I just dumped the body. He told me to use bleach to clean it up. Who told you? Wayne. You know, the rich guy. You're lying to me. I'm not. There's an alley near the courtroom. That's where he is. He's crazy, man. You don't want to go in there. This is the journal of Dr. Thomas Elliot. My work is complete. The pain, though still present, has been worth it. He will suffer for what he did to me. He will suffer the way I have suffered. As I look in the mirror, I understand how Leonardo felt when he finished the Mona Lisa, how Michelangelo felt when David was complete. My work has taken too long. But now it's time for my masterpiece to be unveiled. My new face is ready. I couldn't have put it better myself. I take it you're here to stop me? What do you think? I think you're too late. You're a killer. A psychopath. 
I will stop you. Really? But you look just like Bruce Wayne. It took time, of course, to find the perfect donors, to graft on the flesh, and finally to lose myself in order to create this. Six people die. Unfortunate, but necessary to complete my plan. Why would you believe good old-fashioned revenge? <clears throat> to be honest, I don't care if you do. Wayne will suffer. And you will not stop me. I can see you have your hands full with Arkham City, but it's time for me to leave now. Pray we do not meet again. Next time, I will not be in such a generous mood. Close the file on the identity thief, Oracle. Have you caught him? No. Prepare a new file on Dr. Thomas Elliott. I'm uploading all the details from his surgery. Elliot? The famous surgeon? Didn't you used to be friends? We were. A long time ago. So he was the identity thief? Hang on. This says he used the faces he collected to make a new one that looked like yours. I mean, Bruce Wayne's. Is he crazy? Uh, no offense. Are you going after him? He's gone. He's left Arkham City. I'll hunt him down tomorrow. Stay tuned to Gotham FM.